two things would have made it at least better. Abby, she'd be throwing a whole bunch of dressers in front of the fucking door. Uh, Joel, get that dresser. Put it in front of the door. Joel, get the axe to barricade the door. Da, 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 da. Then she's like, oh, shit, this is Joel. That, that shit clicks in her. Now you get to the end. Ellie kills Abby. Then she goes back. Dina's gone. Da, da, da. All this is gone. And you're like, damn. This revenge took everything out of her. Like that, you really get the message because she actually did get her revenge. In this, she didn't get her revenge and she just lost everything. Abby got her revenge and she gets left. Last of Us Part 2, let's talk about it. We have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived. What's good, YouTube? It's that Kate Gamer. I'm back with another video. Oh my goodness. I think this is... Hold on, we just last stream when we finished The Last of Us Part 2? 500 videos. Out of those 500 videos, so this is our fourth non-gameplay video. Third, fourth, or fifth. Something like that. But we're going to be talking about The Last of Us. Now, it's been like, maybe like a week since I finished The Last of Us Part 2. Um, so... I had some time to digest it. My feelings on it have changed minuscule though. And my feelings on the ending, still the same. Feelings on Joel, still the same. My feelings on Abby, still the same. My feelings on Abby, you know, Abby's 10 hours of play changed a little. Feelings on left changed, but not for the better. If anyone comes in this talking about I'm this, I'm that because I didn't like the game, go back to, and I know, I know around the moment where it's at. After Jesse asked Ellie, is Dina pregnant? Then they go out. And then um, they're going through, like, they move a little shelf. They go through a hole. I'm not about to edit in here. Y'all just gonna have to watch it yourself. So I think that's, I think I did seven um, playthroughs, seven um, streams. So it's about the third or fourth one. And then they move a shelf. And then um, he's like, why didn't she tell me? Um, and then Ellie's about to answer things like get down and they're about to fight some scars or seraphites, whatever the fuck you want to call them. So after I fight them, I say, so far I'll say this game is about 8, 9 out of 10. Now the only reason I say it's out of 10 is because, you know, anything has room for improvement. So I have to finish the game for to even say it's a 10 out of 10. Um, and then... If, let's just say I finished it and I, it was a 10 out of 10, it would have been a 9 out of 10. And this goes back to Joel. Now, I'm not one of those people. Jo like, if you think, oh, you're mad because Joel died. No, when I watched, when I played The Last of Us 2 and then I watched the trailer for The Last of Us Part 2. I mean, I, when I played the first Last of Us and I watched the trailer for The Last of Us Part 2, I'm like, Joel is going to die and Joel is, Joel should die. Like, now, my problems with Joel's death... One is it was too soon. Now, I'm not person who, someone who thinks it should have been at the end of the game or the middle of the game. I just feel maybe an hour, like, so it was like maybe two to three hours in when Joel dies. I say maybe an hour more, hour and a half more with Joel. Another thing is I felt like we should have got a time to play with Joel one time. I'm, that beginning part doesn't count. You literally just went to Jackson and walked around. Like you just rode your horse to Jackson and then walked around Jackson with the go speak to Ellie, play the guitar, that's it. No one cares. I felt it would have been more impactful for us to play as Joel when we meet Abby. The third reason is, as everyone points out, what people want to ignore is Joel, Joel and Tommy, hey, you know, damn, 
I forget, I think it's something Ripper, but he was, every time he explains it, he's like, it's, you know, it's out of character, it's like, hey, I'm Tommy, my brother Joel, here's our social security, uh, password to our email. <laughs> They're basically giving all our information. And I wasn't even really thinking about this when I saw it. I was just like, why are they like, the one thing that I was thinking about was when Tom, Tommy was like, you should come to our place and restock before you head out. I'm like, they look like they're good. You don't need to offer them that. They're good to go, brother. When this storm goes out, you don't need the. They don't need. They don't need your help. They look like they're set. I mean, not set, but they look like they're good. I wasn't really thinking about like the times when in the first game, when Joe, like Joe, takes no no chances with anybody. He don't take chances with with the hunters. Oh, I'm hurt. You get ran over, my guy. Hold this. Hold this. You know what I'm saying? You really about to be hurt. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? He don't take chances with Henry and Sam. The only reason that he does is because Ellie's like, come on, Joe. He didn't even, he didn't, he didn't even want to take Ellie. He was like, bro, I don't know about this. I don't fucking, I don't fucking with this, man. You know what I'm saying? Then he, uh, he even, like, he, he somewhat cool with Mar Marlene. I mean, but like he says, I leave. You're just going to follow me. He pop her dead in her shit. Because he's being careful. He's been an asshole, basically, for 20 years, not trusting anyone. And you think five years later, he's just going to be like, hey, nice to meet you. Like, I mean, you know, still keep it like, because you don't want to, like, go straight into a fight, but still, like, keep it cool. But he's not going to be, like, giving them all his information. This next one, this goes into problems with Abby. Now, I felt it would have been more impactful and to, like, make us really feel... Because when we play with Abby, we're... I don't care. Like, like, we're... And especially when we get to the climax of the game and then you have us be like, um, you're going to play with the villain now. Bro. <laughs> we don't care. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell, right, let me tell you something. <laughs> we don't care. Because when she woke up, I was like, who the fuck is this? Identify yourself. Who the fuck are you? I was like, that's not Ellie. Because at first I was like, at first I was about to give him a critique. Like, bro, your animation is not looking so good. Ellie looking, she looking kind of busted. And she also, she also looks like someone, this, it was a guy from a show. He played like a jock character too. I'm not, I'm not talking about the body. I'm talking about the face. So I was just kind of like, still, I still to this day, I don't remember what show it was. I feel like it was a Netflix show. If y'all know, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll tell y'all if that was uh, him or not. And that character was an asshole too. So that's, that whole time, I'm just seeing that character too. And I'm just, it's pissing me off even more. But that's besides the point. So show the cutscenes of her seeing Jackson with when she's with uh, Owen. Don't have us play there. Actually, you can have us play there because... I like the part when she's like running from all the infected. I, I, I felt like that was an active part. They always give the active, they gave all the active parts to Abby, which makes it worse. But have us play with Joel instead in that moment, instead of Abby. But I said it in my playthrough, I was like, they better not have me play with this bitch again. I was already knowing that I was gonna play with her. It would have been better, even if you're gonna have all that BS, that 10 hour, Abby section after a climax. It would have been better if we never played with Abby because I was expecting it. I was expecting because I, I wasn't putting it above you to make me play with her after she just killed Joel when I was playing with her. So I was expecting some point you're going to have me play with her again. Especially to see why she wants Joel dead. And even when she kills Joel, I'm like, Joel better have did some out of character shit we should have not have played with Abby in the beginning if we were going to play this 10 hour section with Abby. Now Abby's section should have been cut somewhat in half. You can, and this is, this is, a, this is a solution that I, I think you should have. Let's just say instead of 7, 12, it's four to seven hours, right? If it's going to be that long. This is if we're just for, if we're keeping all of her stuff. So we start from her with her dad, we play with the stuff when she meets Doe and she beats him to death. That's another thing with Abby. You can't make me sympathize with her. Joel fucking shot your dad in the head. And we weren't going to shoot the... I, at least I wasn't going to shoot the dad in the head. But he pulled a scalpel on me. You had to die. This is why you should never run your mouth. Who is you? Get out of here. 
Get out of here. You stay alive. Never mind. Look at you. When you was about to stay alive. You're not dead? Damn. I shot your dad in the head one headshot. Listen, other people, I'm Dante Hitter with the flamethrower. I don't even think I had a flamethrower, but I shot your dad in the head. He was dead. You beat this man. And you beat him in front of someone that that sees him as a father figure is different levels to this. After you're Ellie and you kill Owen and um, Mel, then you play as Abby, you play her backstory. This is just if we're keeping all her shit. You play her backstory. You play her when she's, you know, going through the blizzard and she's uh, Owen, they see Jackson and then they, you know, she, uh, Joel saves her. She kills Joel. Then you play when she goes back to uh, Seattle. Then you play all her stuff until Scar Island. You leave Scar Island. Then you cut back to Ellie. They have the altercation and then they show her finding um, Mel uh, and Owen and then her getting into the theater. And the, th oh my, I was playing this. Why would you be like, have a map and it'd be like, this is it, we're here, we're here. This is where we're at, all lines. Now, it would have been better if they just had the lines being like, okay, best route to hospital here okay then she's like okay i put two and two together this is where they're at but they have the fucking theater circled like here we are this is where we are if you find this map come get us that was probably the laziest fucking writing in the whole game so then you have us play with abby again and we go up and then we enter the theater it goes however the same way you wanted to go and then when we go and fight ellie Maybe the first time we have to, like, you know, fight Ellie, then they break through the ground. That's how the fight is going to continue. And then between that fight, you switch back to Ellie. That whole time I was like, bro, it's like, I'm just thinking, like, okay, it'll be, like, this will be the only reason why I can, like, see why we're fighting as Abby right now. We switch back to Ellie, some cool badass moment. But no, we still play as Ellie. They make us beat the shit out of Ellie. It would have been better if we're Ellie and we're getting the sheep beat out of us. Then we're like, come on, come on, come on, Ellie, beat her ass. But no, we're just like, oh my fucking goodness, I got to do it. For me to progress, it's going to make me do this. And then they're like, I better not see you again. Then they have us jump to the farm. I literally, the whole time, I'm thinking this is a dream. Tommy shows up. I'm like, you got shot in the head. You're dead, buddy. I like you, Tommy, but you should have got shot in the shoulder or something. Because when you got shot in the head... And you survive, and you're not even at Jackson. Let's just say you can survive that. Bro, it's Dina got the shit. Dina and Ellie got the shit beat out of them. They're way the hell over there. You have no doctors, brother. You're dead. I'm sorry. But Tommy's, then I see Tommy live. I'm like, okay, this is a dream. No, no, it's not a dream. And the cherry on top that ruins it is the ending. We should have killed her. Because that, like... People are like, oh, you don't get the message. No, we get, we understand the message. We get it. We just don't like it. Now, when I was playing the game, I said this is a 7, 8, 9 out of 10. And then when I ended, I was like, okay, no, it's a 2, 3, 4. I wouldn't say that. I'll say the gameplay, the gameplay and the graphics, 8, 9, 10. But story? This is bad. This is very, Stephen very bad. Mm, story brings it down. So when you add the story, Plus the gameplay, graphics, sound, and you know, even the small details that they focus on, then it brings it down. Cause this is a story based game. So now you're looking at like a four, five, six, seven, eight, eight max, four minimum. Think about this. Let's just say they had all that BS. We do all that. We get to kill Abby, right? Two things would have made it at least better. Think about it like this. When they're running from the, the, the horde, maybe Abby helps them instead. She's just like, she's the good person. We see, okay, she's good. If we're playing where we see, okay, she's a good person. She's helping Joel and uh, Tommy. They're like barricading the door. And then like, uh, Tommy's like, Joel, go get the da 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 da. Then she's like, oh shit, this is Joel. Like she don't know what Joel look. Oh, this, this is Joel. That's how she, that's how she know who he is and stuff. I'm Joel. We already know he's Joel. And she already knows he's Joel now because he was like, 
I'm, I'm Tommy, that's my brother Joe. It's just like, brother. Abby, she be throwing a whole bunch of dressers in front of the fucking door. Uh, Joe, get that dresser, put it in front of the door. Joe, get the axe to barricade the door, da 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 da. Then she's like, oh shit, this is Joe. That, that shit clicks in her. And then, you know what I'm saying, she, maybe, uh, maybe Joe, the reason he get, he's beating like that is because they're trying to fight them instead of, oh, I'm torturing you. Because when I see it, you're torturing him, basically. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to just, oh, your friends died. I mean, the only person that got really tortured in your, in your group was Nora, which you don't know about. And Ellie fucking, Ellie was traumatized after it. Ellie was traumatized after killing a pregnant woman. You were leaning over the fact you're like, oh, good. Thank you. Fucking thank you. I've been waiting for this moment for, the, for my entire life. Even your friends know you're a fucking douchebag. Everyone knows you as the top scar killer. No one, no, not even your friends like you. So why would, why would the characters like them? You have to make us like, you have to make us feel like, okay, she feels bad about what she's doing. But even that, even if we want to keep the characters the same, Joel, Get the axe to barricade the door. She knows this is Joel. Ellie finds them. Then, so that's one change. You only need to make these two changes. One. And then two. And not even, this is not even to make it the great. It's just making it like better being like, okay, I can see what they're doing even better now. Like be like, okay, I understand. Cause you understand what they're trying to do, but you don't understand like why you thought it would work basically. We understand what you're doing. We just don't understand why you thought Doing it this way would work. Now you get to the end. Ellie kills Abby. Then she goes back. Dina's gone. Da, da, da. All this is gone. And you're like, damn. This revenge took everything out of her. Like that, you really get the message because she actually did get her revenge. In this, she didn't get her revenge and she just lost everything. Abby got her revenge and she gets love. How was that? How, you're literally doing the opposite of your message. The person who got their revenge, they got, they got, they have someone. The person who didn't get their revenge, they lost their father figure. They lost, they lost uh, their girlfriend. They lost their girlfriend's child. They lost the respect of their uh, uncle-like character. They lost their friend, Jesse. And I mean, I guess she could come back to Jackson, but it's just like, like Drake, it's never, nothing, nothing was the same. I want to see what y'all have to say in the comments. I might make a part two of this video, depending on what everyone says in the comments down below. I literally, if I just took like five minutes, this is, I'm freestyling all of this. This is why I'm all over the place. If I literally like wrote down shit for five to 10 minutes, I literally can just cook up something that can make it even, just even with with what they had already. Here's one more solution. Not solution, basically. To make us feel for Abby more. You either cut Lev and the Scar storyline out, or you cut Mel, Owen, and Abby love triangle out. Then you have less Abby, more room to, to you know, connect with those characters, the, the characters that no one really cares about. What do you know? What do you know or care about these characters besides their one trait? Abby, she's strong and has a history with Owen. Owen, love triangle with Mel and Owen's probably the one kind of, kind of quote unquote likable character out of all of them because he has these kind of layers. Kind of. Lev. Lev, you had a good storyline like, oh, oh, I shaved my head. Then you're like, oh, uh, because um, I'm trans, they don't, like that's a that's um, like illegal, forbidden, or whatever. Okay, what else? Oh, that's it. That's my character. What do you mean? What do you mean? And then you have these little moments where like, uh, cool. What's cool? Like, okay, that's. After a while, that would have got annoying, but it's just like that's all your character is. Everyone's just like the one thing. Manny gets mad and starts starts cursing in Spanish. Abby strong. Male, pregnant. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, uh, Nora doesn't, is loyal to her friends. Nora, Nora's fine, because she, 
She served her a small purpose. She wasn't this big character. But the main characters, Mel, Owen, Lev, Abby, uh, Manny, they have one trait. They have one trait. Each of them have one, maybe two traits. Owen kind of has like two, three, four. That's it. But yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. If you like the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, share with your friends. Stay tuned for the next video. Stack here, Gamer, and I'm out. Peace. Customer service. Get me straight to the bitch, bro. Customer service. Customer service. Customer service.